Hey guys, welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today we'll be talking about Cold War Beta. It was the first weekend we got to play it on the PC. So this gives us a chance to check out performance tweaks, issues, errors, things like that. Getting it to run smoothly, upping our FPS, and just getting used to the game itself and the guns and everything like that. I had a good time playing it. I did a couple live streams over the weekend. You guys might have stopped by and checked me out and chatted it up. Today, we're gonna talk about those things that I mentioned. So let's jump right into it. All right, here's some footage from the live stream this weekend. We were down in the Cold War. This is a Moscow map. We were having a good time, getting used to the guns. I'm liking the special ops class. But let's talk about getting the game to run at all. Let's, let's talk about getting it to run smooth, um, the different uh, settings you can tweak and things like that. So uh, one of the things I noticed in this game is that you have to definitely turn some of the things on or off depending on the game. It's not fine-tuned. Um, everything starts off on ultra and everything's turned on and that didn't really help. I hope they tweak that after the beta. But what I noticed is a lot of things got transferred over from Modern Warfare slash Warzone into this Cold War Call of Duty. Even though we're looking at uh, Activision Infinity Ward versus Treyarch over here doing Cold War, uh, we're definitely seeing a lot of similar issues with the game that got somehow ported over that Treyarch needs to fix and or work on. We're gonna start going through that list right now. Um, one of the first things I wanna mention is some people are not even able to run this game at all. So I would highly recommend um, doing the simple stuff that I've mentioned in the Warzone Fixed video. Check out the Season 6 Fix video, which is not a lot of things we can do about the Modern Warfare because a lot of those fixes translate over to this game, which makes a huge difference. So, okay. Here's my live in-game. Uh, let's go through the settings. Let's just go through my settings first. I'm going to show you what I kind of did and set up. So graphic settings here. So I'm in a windowed full screen mode uh, on my one monitor. I'm running at 120 hertz. I disabled V-Sync gameplay, menu V-Sync. Uh, my render res is 1080. Um, uh, the colorblind stuff and the aspect ratio is all automatic. My field of view. Now this will drop your FPS, your frames down quite a bit. I was getting between 160 and 200 plus frames per second until I dropped my field of view to, or upped my field of view to 120. I like the extra field of view, especially on my curved monitor. It just helps me with targeting and sighting. So um, this will drop your frames. I'm just putting that out there, but that's how I like to play. Uh, frame limit, limits custom. It's like 160 in game, 130. I try to cap it. I don't want my system spending extra resources trying to grab frames that it doesn't need to. Um, everything was on ultra. So I, and it was almost too pretty. The graphics are really good in this game, but it was like, it was like crazy pretty and good looking and lush. And I had to actually turn all that down. Plus I want the frames. So I threw everything pretty much on medium high. So I got texture quality, medium, filtering, medium, model quality as uh, medium, special effects is medium, green space refraction on low. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it on. Uh, object view distance high, cause I wanna see from a distance. Volumetric lighting medium, which I probably could put low. Uh, dynamic shadows on all shadows are important, especially when spotting people from around corners and things like that. So I keep the I keep the textures on high and I keep the shadows on high. Everything else I try to turn off or down. Um, special effect shadows, disabled weapon shadow. So this one right here is a huge secret. This is critical. Okay, pay attention to this on the video. This Nvidia Reflex low latency, turn it off. It will fix your latency with hitboxes and shooting and all kinds of other issues that people are experiencing in this game when uh, we first started playing. I don't. It's it's based on server latency and things that I'm hearing. I don't know if that's true with this with this game with uh, Cold War. So this was really screwing things up. It is not optimized. Please turn it off. You will thank me later. Um, Anti-aliasing on low, motion blur disabled, subserve scattering disabled independent transparency disabled. This one on CPU priority management, this is another huge, huge secret. I did leave this on default, which was automatic. Do not leave this on automatic. Huge secret again right here. CPU priority management needs to be manual. Um, I was getting in-game stuttering with this on automatic. It was not set right and or optimized. I don't know, hopefully they fix it outside of the beta, but I'm telling you right now, this Another, another just huge, huge setting that makes a huge difference. So NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and CPU Priority Management are gonna make the biggest difference for you. Um, and if I was getting so many frames after that and it was so stable, I draw I up to my field of view to 120, I'm still getting over 100 plus frames, which is great. My monitor only does 120 anyway. And uh, the game's running smooth. I'm having a good time with it. I'm, I'm killing it. Top of the scoreboard or second, all of the games. Um, so. Another thing that got ported over from the game that really uh, broke things was the party and matchmaking system. So what we found is we actually had to 
when you're inviting your friends and your players um, and you're partied up, what happens is um, another person, the party will just say, I cannot join or the party is already in progress or, or just give you some error. And what we found is we after every time we added a new person or a person left the party, we had to break the party and recreate the party and rejoin the party. Sometimes we could only join on one particular person. Sometimes we had to restart our game. So. Um, that was another th fix for the for the party system things. You guys probably figured that out, but I wanted to make mention of how how we got the party system fixed. Um, now I did have some users experiencing uh, game crashes, but if you use my my Warzone fix tips with running your memory and an automatic in the BIOS and sacrificing a few frames, you will get stability out of it. Um, if you do turn off the Nvidia Reflex, change the C CPU priority management, and the graphics settings, like I just mentioned. Um, and not run everything on ultra you will have more stability with the game make sure you're running the game as admin if needed um, and that will help a ton we also saw on another thing on the party issue we also saw that you couldn't see people online that you should be able to see online um, so that that also happened and we had to manually send invites or figure out who could see them online and send them invites to get the party system to work as well um, what else do I got here so yeah, those are just those are all the major things I found this weekend from the beta. Um, was really just the party matchmaking system and even getting the game to not stutter or run properly or not crash to desktop. So again, a lot of the same tips I've taught you guys already with the Warzone fix video, but the two new things, huge new things. Again, I just want to make mentions. People don't watch the whole video. Watch the whole video when I'm talking. I'm not giving you fluff. I'm trying to help you guys out, man. Um, and I fixed a lot of people's game and, and, and they've thanked me. A ton of you have thanked me and I appreciate it. So NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and the CPU Priority Management are the huge, huge, huge ones. Don't run 120 FOV if your system can't handle it. Keep to 80 or 100. Um, I think default 60. It's just way too zoomed in for me. I, I hate it. I had a great time playing this game. I just want to thank you guys so much for all your comments. I try to make sure I get to all of them. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll keep me motivated to keep doing these videos. I hope you guys had a fun time playing Cold War this weekend. And uh, if you guys ever want to game with me or anything, I'm always up for that too. So I will catch you guys next time.